guys, I'm here to talk about how to get away with murder, episode 12. She's a murderer. We see at the top of the episode that they find Sam's body part in a landfill. We're not even talking about a body. We found his parts. And then they were extra crispy. So you see a foot over here and a hand over here. It's extra crispy. How are you going to know that? Somebody must have called and told because I don't understand. It's hard to find puzzle pieces in a box, but in a landfill, you trying to find body parts? That's hard. That's hard. Somebody told them. But then they also had the body a week ago. Then the murder just happened a week ago? Like, I, I really thought that this was going to kind of like one piece here, two pieces here, and then it's slowly. But they are on it. I don't know how long they're going to get away with murder because they all looking like they saw a ghost. And this is just the first week or two after the murder. So, I don't know. And they they identified Sam's body with the DNA from the other murder. Which I don't know if Annalise playing that. She's very meticulous, so I don't know. Hannah is like, oh, she's a murderer. You were just about to eat her chicken a few seconds ago. And if you thought she was a murderer, she could have killed you. You know, um, I don't know. You need to make up your mind. Y'all going back and forth. Like, do you think she killed him or she, or she don't? I don't know. But Hannah wants the police to look in the house and, and, and investigate and see. And they're like, now we need a reason to go in. And she tell them, what if I told you Annalise threatened my brother? I don't know if she, she really did that. She was like, I'll testify anything you want me to. So that means you're going to lie? I don't, I don't know. But Annalise pointed out something that she's obsessed with her brother. So she must not have no kids, no husband, because it's all about Sam. I don't know what Sam be doing to them women. But it was funny because she said, incest is best. Put your brother to the test. I'm from Alabama, and I have heard a lot of crazy sayings, but I have never heard that one. It's, and then also we see that Annalise is from a violent background. That's going to be interesting to see because Cicely Tyson is playing her mama for next week. Can't wait. Annalise tells Bunny to go and try to stop the warrant, and she failed. And basically... Hannah just pretty much handed her butt on a platter in the courtroom and felt bad, and, and Ashley felt bad, too. Um, I need Bunny to step it up and get some backbone. And then even before that, nobody called her and let her know that um, Sam died and everything, and she was taking it really hard and everything. And Frank was just so nonchalant. I don't know how he felt about Sam before that, but... Frank do not hide things well because Bunny puts it all together. I mean, just the the nonchalantness about a Frank dying, Annalise cold about it. Bunny the only, Bunny and Hannah the only one care. Then she reads the ME report and and the blunt trauma. And when they were at the house, they found the scale that goes on the trophy. And then she noticed. That the road was gone. Because you know Bunny lives there. Or she always lurking in the in the shadows. So she sees everything and knows everything. And she knows that the kids do. Because they over there looking like crack victims and everything. Like they need crack and stuff. And I understand. I mean I have never killed anybody. So I don't know. But you have to sit here and play it off a little bit better than that. So if Bunny figured it out. Then I'm pretty sure Hannah, she already had peep how they looking nervous and everything. Ashley, the only one that's cool and collective and always saying crazy stuff. But he even don't, is not even noticing, which is weird to me. So, um, yeah. Connor's freaking out because he feels that Annalise is putting him under the bus and everything. Which I can understand that. And so she gives them a talk and says that they're similar because they're words. I really thought she was going to say they're similar because they sleep around and get what they want. But she was saying the word. She's good. I think she's manipulating them. But she's good. She's good. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, so Nate is, you know, still concerned and everything. And she tells him not to talk to the police. Which I wonder, was that a setup? To make him look guilty. Because in the end. Which is gangster. She. Bunny told her. Not to. 
mess herself up because of the kid. But she had promised the kids that she would help them. And they flash back to when she told Wes, I got you into this. Got him into what? Did you coerce him to do this? Or you been setting him up and playing mind games the whole time, which I felt like she did. I really feel like Wes and Annalise are related. Because she always... Um, was close to him for some reason and we don't know but i think it's something more to that so she gives the ring to frank who goes and breaks into um nate's house and get a fingerprint which frank is like the worst person to ask to do anything because nate is a detective or was a detective that is basically i don't know not getting caught one-on-one -on -one. Why would your fingerprint be on a on a ring? Like, wouldn't you put gloves on and everything? I just don't understand. It was on his ring finger, so it's like you would have to take it off. That just was a little too sloppy for me. And I wonder, because he, Nate didn't look surprised, but then I wonder, was he like, man, she done put me under the bus again. I mean, first I lost my job now because I'm associated with her as her lover. I'm about to get in trouble. I don't know. So Wes is still looking for um, Rudy, and it's not, and it's bothering him. He asked the landlord, "Did he have a foreign address?" And he was like, "You should ask your girlfriend because she the one call the police on." Him. So then he goes confront her, and she just laid it on, just tried to be defensive and deflect and everything, and was like, "It seemed like you're trying to catch me in a lie," but you kind of are caught in a lie. You said you didn't deal with him, then you called the police on him. So. Like, were you friends or were you not friends? And let's go back to the time she came to his apartment and said she liked Rudy's setup before. If you weren't friends when you didn't talk to him, why would you know what his apartment looked like? And then you hid Lila's phone in that bathroom in a secret compartment. You have, the only reason you would know that if you had been in there, and you had been in there a lot. Girl, you lying. And... Um, so, okay, let's talk about the case. I'm just going to briefly go over the case of the week. There was a mob family, and they were, um, a member of the family was trying to transport drugs. And then one person that weighed the containers um, was told by the prosecutor to pinpoint this particular container that had the drugs in and he did in order to get a green card so Annalise is like let me go to bat for you you know I'm do it don't drop the case I'll, I'm gonna win for you and they find out that they did and the, the prosecutor was trying to threaten and she was like I'm toe to toe Annalise is a beast in the courtroom um everybody's just questioning on how Annalise is like reacting to her husband and everybody thinks she did it and it's funny because Leo, which is the client that she helped, was like chocolate and Italian wine always pair well together. Because he was trying to hit on her. It was like, well, you don't act like you said that your husband died. It was funny. And then Astra um, said this line. was like, you treat people like trash, they're going to find your butt. Well, he said another word. But I'm trying to be, you know, good and not curse. And then... um. It's, it's just funny that he doesn't notice what's going on and everything. So they have another week to get past it without getting caught. So we have two more episodes. And one's going to be what happened to Lila. I can't wait. I really feel like it's going to have something to do with Rudy and probably Griffin and Rebecca. So until next week, please subscribe to this channel. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram at really Madeline. And leave comments. I mean, you're checking out the videos, but just leave your comments so we can talk about this. Or if I'm wrong or you disagree, just leave comments.